who is Allah? And Allah that. So, all right. <coughs> <coughs> Allah is the proper Arabic name for God. Muslims believe in and worship the same one God that Jews and Christians worship. Allah says, <coughs> Allah says in the Quran, oh, by the way, you know, when I was a kid growing up and I asked about Islam, I was told they worship the moon. Yeah, their god is the moon. Now, why do they lie to kids? You know, just tell us. They're trying a different kind of the same thing, but they're wrong and we're not. Yeah, you know. Oh, way back. Allah says in the Quran, and do not debate with the people, capitalized, of the book, capitalized, unless in the best of manner, but not with those who are unjust and say, we believe in the revelation that has come down to us and in that which came down to you, our God and your God is one, and to him do we wholly give ourselves. And that's uh, Surah 29, 46. Yeah, I remember asking. In Sunday school. Who's Allah? Tell me oh, that's a a moon deity. You can see they're hang got a, a moon hanging. Yeah. Okay. Apparently that wasn't true. Allah is a unique term with no plural and no gender. It predates Muhammad and was also used in the form of El, Elah, and Elohim by David, Moses, Jesus, and other messengers of God. Peace be upon them all. There it is. Uh, that wasn't deep at all, though. He is God, the one, God damn it, those damn hornets, they almost never sting. I've been stung a couple times, hardly even bothered me, just getting resilient. He is God, the one, that there is no deity but he. The King, the Holy, the source of all peace, the guardian of faith, the preserver, the mighty, the compeller, the majestic, glory to God, beyond all their associations of partners with him. Ah, oh, you know, one could say the same thing about the polytheism of Hinduism that don't they all derive power from Brahma? They're all aspects of Brahma. I guess God's really fractured or something. All these aspects. You know, it's the Swiss Army knife God you now. This one does it all. Except. He is God. The creator, the maker. The fashioner. To him belong the most beautiful names. 
all that is in the heavens and the earth magnifies him. He is the mighty, the wise. And that's Surah 59, verse 22 to 24. And, and they end on that note. Okay. Uh, I got some more of these, I think. I, I might have, but I have at least one more of these. It looks similar, but it's, I think it's my G-Pod. And I should probably read that, even if nobody watches these videos. But, now that I've done this, I, I've decided to put them all up at once. And, uh, I'm not going to edit or anything. Uh, but I might come back and edit them. Get, edit them and all that if it's worth it. But anyway, at least I finished it. And uh, maybe more Islam to come. Another Islam reader. I think I, got, I, think I have more than one. Uh, more. Like I said, it was at the Islam booth and I, they had literature. I told them I'd read it. It took me a while, but uh, I'm doing it and I've got proof right here. Yeah. Let me know if you learned something. And if this changed your life or something, because that was, well, I'd want to hear about that. Please uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do some more of this until I come up with a better idea of what to do. I got lots of time. I've just been doing so many other things, but I don't want to neglect this channel. Even if only, I mean, some people are watching. You know, until 